Sorry, just working through some stuff. You know how it is. New location. New problems. Trying to work with only one screen is entertaining. I mean, <laughs> jokingly, I say one screen. I can count four, well, more than four in front of me, but you know. Without further ado, let's pile. How's it going? How is everyone today? How are you doing? This is where I do the uh, intro portion of the stream, in case you haven't watched, or in case you haven't heard anything about this, or you're stumbling across it. You want to know what the heck is this? Who is this guy? Why, the, why should I bother? Well, my name's David. I pretty much use this stream entirely to push myself to continue my projects, um, whatever that project might be. Currently, my list of projects that I have shown on here involve gaming, which is a Friday thing, and it's not Friday. Uh, my home lab and uh, a trailer build out for a road trip of sorts that I'm hoping to maybe share with a stream audience or YouTube or what have you. So if you've just kind of run across, that's why I'm hanging out and just chatting. <laughs> I'm not doing the technology side of things today, although in my current location, I'm not sure what I'm doing today, but I'm sure I'm going to find out. So let's go. Here. Yeah. Uh -huh. I should have already transitioned that. There we go. So I've decided to kind of switch my main browser when I'm doing streams over to Vivaldi just so that I can save the past stuff uh, and not get rid of it every single time go and start all over um so yeah that ought to be fun let me make sure i'm not signed in actually let me do another quick transition Ooh, basically hiding my screen again <laughs> uh, I want to make sure that my profile here doesn't have too much crap associated with it, you know? No syncing, okay. I don't remember when the last time I used Vivaldi is, so... All right, should be okay. There is one problem in that I have to sign into. Where am I on right now? I have to sign into my Google accounts real quick, so bear with me. Anything interesting on the Pokemons? Nope. Man, the keyboard sounds thunderous right now. Interesting, and everything went wonky on me. Where? We're going here. And away. Okay. So this looks familiar, I'm sure. Let's also do our Tinkercad, Bing. This defaults to Bing. Okay, whatever. Uh, 
Okay, so yeah, I think actually what we can do is we can go back to this guy. Because this is where I was starting to build the framework that the tent is going to live on. Let's grab our notes. Not those notes. Can I just open this? Yeah, there we go. Oh, I'm going to have to sign into my Vivaldi account as well. So one more, or my not Vivaldi, my Amazon account. So one more thing I got to do, and then we can go to regular video. <laughs> Type in the characters that you, why? It's already asking if I'm a bot. Hello, sign in. Okay, cool. Now we can do it. Hi. All right, we're back. So we got our budget. We've got our design that we were working on. Who are you going to be? There's something in my notes about what I was working on. Rear plastic, internal height. Were you just going to be the combiner box? Oh, no, wait, that's internal. So if I break you back apart, six, six. I don't need you open. That's five, five. What were we working on, guys? And why is this so jittery? Bray. Send a poke catch at it. Why not? What were we working on here? I feel like this was supposed to be that solar combiner box, but these numbers are all wrong. Did I extend it or something? Let me take a look at something else real quick. Oh, wait, I can do that here. Let's just run it here. I mean, doesn't seem like that should be causing that much of a delay. I understand I'm not directly connected. I'm, I've connected from one to another. So yeah, my, my limit is fine. Why is this hanging up? Is this a problem with Vivaldi, maybe? Because I do a right click. 
and nothing happens. But generally speaking, it's a right click and drag, and it only does a little bit of it. But then it, it does nothing until I let go and right click. And then it's grippy. Hmm. That's no fun. Maybe there's a setting in here? Sync not connected. Oh no, that's Vivaldi. Don't care. <laughs> Break mode. Okay. Toggle images and animations. Hmm. Maybe I can find something about that. Probably not on Bing, though. Don't forget to vote, by the way. Today is the day where we find out... We find out which liar is going to be the king liar. <laughs> uh, I'm not frustrated. You're frustrated. Let's see. Um, why not? Three D object Vivaldi and Vivaldi snapshot make CPU usage to a hundred. There we go. Right click hold issue. the same issue and tried a number of different browsers and edge sometimes it seems to do multiple things at once okay so no fix it, it just is what it is <sighs> alright fine I know that doesn't happen here so I'll just use this for Tinkercad. It's better. We can jump back and forth easier, right? Tinkerdis. I just have to remember to actually do it, right? The worst part about having to do this this way, and I think at least part of it is I just need to readjust the way my screen on OBS Blade looks, but the worst part is, like, I gotta scroll back and forth on everything. I don't know. What I'm saying is, water break! Or drinkable yogurt. Whatever. Maybe a little water too. Water is good for you. Handled. All right. Where was we? I'm trying to figure out what this thing is. <laughs> I mean, yeah, let's look at these notes. This says 5.5 external. All right, let's take a look at this guy. 
Actually, I need to be careful about that because apparently if I go to these links and it doesn't come from one of the places I'm supposed to have posted them, then I'll get dropped out of the Amazon thing. I didn't know that. So I guess I should probably instead bring up yield connected me in case you're not aware this is just one more place uh no go away that i announce videos but i also do other stuff in here so i'll if i'm gonna actually write up something about um uh, a laptop I'm using, or a router that I'm using, or whatever. This is where it's going to be. Um, you can basically, on the main page, look at the categories over here. Projects will be video announced. Although, I need to take video announcements out of projects. That doesn't make any sense. Because this is like the write-ups on actually doing things. <laughs> Whereas this is just this, letting you know, hey, there's a new video up. Um, I think the most interesting thing to me that I put on here uh, is one of, I think it's Internet of Crap, actually. Yeah, this, this little build to me, oh, what happened to all my pictures? That's unhappy. Anyway, I modified out. I'm going to have to find those pictures and fix that. But I modified a, one of the floodlight cams that has the two, uh, bar, the two lights on the sides of it. And uh, I just made it so that the camera itself acted like a the motion sensor because to me we have so many places like that where we have the motion sensor in a place where a camera makes sense because we want it to trigger thing we want it to trigger when someone walks by it or when something walks by it so any place that we have just a, a motion sensor that triggers lights why why does ring require that you install more lights when instead, they can just take their uh, their little doohickey that they've got inside. In, in the case of this one, there was a box that was inside that converted uh, 110 voltage to the voltage for the, the LEDs. And it would trigger on regular 110. So there was a, a 110 relay in the back of the camera. So I just took the 110 relay and sent that out to my regular uh, garage door lights. Like, why Why do I want four lights? Why do my neighbors want four lights just beaming out into the night? No. Um, but yeah, why isn't that a standard thing? Uh, I actually even sent this whole write-up when it had pictures to Ring and said, hey, uh, it's something you guys might want to think about because I do see a whole lot of garages that just they have another set of cameras or another set of lights there and then in some cases along with another set of lights they have a separate uh, motion sensor so like there's just so much about it that doesn't make sense yeah here we go I was trying to figure out how to just how to change the amount of uh, the amount of voltage the lights that the light bulbs would take when I just said, "Well, why am I why am I bothering with that?" Anyway, that to me was it's one of the first things that I posted on here, and it was just it was fun to do. Uh, but anyway. Back at the ranch, what we were doing, or what I was doing, for you, before I was so rudely interrupted, 
is I'm trying to go to here. Explore my benefits. Go away. I'm not going to have Prime soon. <laughs> Just uh, did it to keep the girlfriend happy. She wanted to watch a football game. And uh, yeah. Sure, I'll pay for a month so you can watch football. Speaking of, of sports ball games, man, I can't wait for tonight. Celebrini's back. If you know, then you know. If you don't, then you don't. But my point is, hopefully, hopefully Sharks games are going to stay fun. I don't care if they win. I'm past that. The last couple of years have, have beaten that out of me. Just make them fun. Not to say that the uh, the three game streak that we just had wasn't fun. That was entertaining to say the least. And honestly, even the last game was not bad. Uh, but we had we had some stinkers in there, and I was getting concerned that we were looking at next year at last year again. Anyway, I am looking for. Oh yeah, I moved it. <sighs> that's that's the day it's gonna be. See, this is what it's supposed to do. Womp, womp, womp. Womp, womp. Okay. So yeah, that's 1.1 1 .1 by 787. Which, if we go back here, 1.1 1 .1 by 75? It's still not right. Well, you know what? Let's make it right. Oh. Before I do that. This is the external dimensions, right? 290, 190, 140. 290, okay. Yep. Did I do something dumb like... Uh, Try to convert it myself rather than just read it. <laughs> now look at the notes. 5.59 external. Right. 5 point external. Oh, that's the depth. And I have five point. Yeah, my guess is that kilowatt trail. Let's catch it with it. Let's ultra ball. I did say I was gonna ultra ball, didn't I? Hey, it auto completes ultra ball for me. Pole check. No, pokey check. It's not giving me anything, so maybe I caught it. Oh, I should be just doing pokey loyalty. That'll tell me definitely if I caught it, right? 97. I caught it. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of that. So yeah, I must have I must have mathed those numbers. I definitely did. I remember looking at this. Rather than just going, oh yeah. Although external with 205. By two, okay, so I was trying to get a little bit more exact because it says 290, but here it says 288. And the external width is 205, but here it says 190. That's a pretty big difference. I guess we can do this. 
No, it changes. External with 205. Oh, because it's counting the latches, whereas I bet that isn't. That's probably counting just the size of the box. Okay, okay. And then we have our internal 258. Come back. Okay. So that's why these numbers are all screwball on this one. But these numbers are accurate. Ish. <laughs> wow, it's been 27 minutes and I've just now caught up to where I was on Friday, Thursday. Uh, I'm so sorry. So sorry. All right, but the entire goal here, realistically, was to look at the fuses that I needed and try and mount this somewhere. I don't know why I decided to do it on the same thing that I'm building this framework on. Do you? Someone remind me. What's my length on this? So 43 inches. Did I make notes of that? I meant to, but I apparently didn't. All right, so we know that that is the Bronco height. And I know that I don't need to duck to get under that, but that's because 79 inches is seven inches taller than six, and I'm six one-ish, like, if something is 6-1, I could bump my head if I'm walking by it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Up at 6-2, but just because of the way I step. Um, so if that's 79, we need this to go, be able to go up by... Twenty inches. Is that what we're looking at? Oh, yeah, because I think I made it so that it bottoms out in there. Okay. Sometimes I do it the right way. Sometimes I do the smart thing. So we want a twenty-inch travel. Actually. <laughs> I'm so sorry, squirrel. Now we can go back here and we can look at the lifters here. No, they're in vivo, I thought. Stabilizer. Okay. We'll just do Vivor. Vivor linear actuators, because I know that that's what we're looking for. And that's 18 inches. It's not quite the 20 that we need, or that we want. Let's just do the the smart thing here. Let's just put little old bean pole me here. And 
Okay, if I am 72 inches. No. <laughs> 7.5. Point two inches. There is room for bonkage there. So I need to be able to go up. That's excessive. Let's drop this a bit though. 164th, why not? Do I need to go another five inches? So it's 25. That drastically shifts this. And I have this where I have it because this is where the kick out happens. Of course, I suppose there's no reason it can't just continue through it too. It does make it a little more interesting to repair. Should I go that route later down the line? when I can also just, no. Go like that and add another five inches to the bottom. That makes it 48, 49 inches. So let's, let's update this. See, I have 48 to 50, 43 ideally. No, it's 48 ideally. And I was talking to uh, my friend Graham out there the other night, and he says that the thickness of steel that I'm using is vastly more than is needed. From what I could tell based off of the math, he's not entirely wrong. Um, I was looking at just sheer, I, I couldn't find anything on sheer weight of um, box tube, only round tube. And I think I, rem I read something about it, it having to do with the corners. It, it doesn't, most of it doesn't matter except for the corners. But um, from what I remember, I looked up the weight, the recommended weight. I can't even say recommended. There isn't really a recommended. Let's just look it up. Box tubing. Um, Capacity calculator. So this is one of the ones I was looking at. But it focuses on this load. Oops. Cancel. Which I do intend on using specifically for the, the two cross pieces. Although most of my load is not going to be centered. It's going to be like out here. And it'll be more of like a an arch. What I'm saying is I won't be loading the center. <laughs> Does that make sense? So 
set to 12 if you're just comparing materials. And I'm basically, I'm looking at steel, but is there any reason I shouldn't be looking at aluminum? Point load and center, load evenly distributed. Well, I guess I could go with that. So see, this is, this is a two inch thick by not, not two inch. Oh wait, did I miss? Oh no, there we go. And the wall thickness for the 14 gauge that I'm looking at. What is this number and why do I have it there? <laughs> All right, let's go back to the metals. Have you noticed I've completely squirreled again? I noticed. Okay, I have zero because it's it's a cookie on the other one. We want tube square to only have 4130. We're looking at two inch and 1.2. So now we can go back over here. 1.2. Okay. Comparison to an actual rollover. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is the other thing I was looking at. Yield strength, ultimate density, now. Complete wild goose chase. Weight and dimension calculators. I'm not looking for a weight calculator. Metal tubing, maybe I just do capacity. Load capacity? I do a depth of 34, say. Oop, one more Pokemon. We've just, I've just squirreled my squirrel with a squirrel. Oops, and I forgot to Ultra Ball. And I didn't catch it. Darn you, Pokemon! So... Wait a minute. They only have really big stuff. That's not going to be really helpful for me. <laughs> of the angle angle what if I get deflection but this is deflection actually you know what it has simulation, but I think these simulations are just physics. 
not so throwable yeah you can you're not putting in materials <laughs> I think, I mean, it is deflection, right? This is one of those situations where if you're worried, you just overbuild it, which is probably what I was doing. I think that's all supposed to be hanging. Calculators? What? Let's see, 2D CAD sketcher. Well, that looks a bit like what I want, huh? But where does this go? Seem helpful? Yes. And ultimate tensile strength and yield, blah blah blah. This looks cool. <laughs> but this is why I'm not exactly an engineer. What is this guy trying to build? <laughs> I didn't even look at that. Us for safety. The total weight is around 500. This sounds like my kind of math right here. <laughs> here's the here's the math part, and here's the wild. <laughs> what is it? Wild the wag the wild ass guess. Your largest bending moments will be on the long dimensions. Have you considered having the tubes run the length rather than crosswise? That's a smart way of thinking about it. The question is how much deflection you're aiming for. If 
from what I can gather, the following that the design would sag seven plus inches in the middle. Type in the above onto a beam. This is free online beam. Let's check this. Supports. Pin support. Road support. It's going to be a fixed support. Alright. How does this thing work? Let's switch it to Imperial. Actually, this is, this will be interesting to look at, but <sighs> support section pins, point loads, moments distributed, load combinations. Nope, just close. that <laughs> beam must be entered before a support okay so I'm gonna have to do this either way cool so then we're going back to not this one We need to be on this guy because we need that measurement. This one here. And you know what else we need? Water break. Was something else I just thought about as I was drinking that water. I can mount the lifter anywhere. It doesn't have to be mounted here. I mean, realistically, this thing is just going to be a guide for that leg, just so it doesn't go blah. So if I mount that lifter here, I mount that lifter on the other side of this, up on a stick. I mean, you know, a stick of metal. Like, it really doesn't matter where I put that lifter after the fact. Just one more thing. I mean, I actually could take another... Ooh. I think I know what I'm going to do. All right, let's hop back over here. I know. Squirrel. 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 Alright, I need both of these guys. This guy and this guy. Why am I not grabbing that? This? Yeah, there we go. And this. But now I need to bring you back. Okay. What am I doing? No, I need you. And you. Let's do the old make sure that they're centered in each other because, well, that just makes sense. 
I'm going to copy pasta you. And I'm going to take this guy. And we'll do the same thing. Um, no, that's going to, yeah, that's what I thought that was going to do. I need you to be centered on you. other thing. I thought the order in which you selected them is what moves. Because that's not what I want. It's probably something stupid like you have to press to align two reference, select two or more objects to align. Press the align key, then select the object you'd like to use as a reference. So wait, I'm selecting the two items. I press L. You are the reference. Ah, okay. So I had it right, but also wrong. All right, and you don't need to be 12 inches. You're going to be like four inches. Not, not that, sorry. <laughs> like four inches. See what I'm cooking with here? So now, if I go back to the linear actuator. All right, what's the minimum? Go away. 18 inch high load, 330 pounds. Which is a little, a little much. Oh, I don't even need to worry about that block. I like the idea of the block though. So I was thinking about putting that block in there specifically so that I can remove it and like run a motor on its own, right? But if I just put these on there, that kind of takes care of it. I, mean, I don't need to be fast. P65 is what I need. So that extended is 18 inch. high speed <laughs> I'm just imagining <sighs> sorry squirrel pokemon pokey squirrel and I caught it cool I'm just imagining like having something that's just boing, boing, boing. <laughs> just roll up come out press a button <clears throat> Caught. All right. So we need this one. 
because we want that IP65 rating. But it'd be nice if it said which one this one is. Well, it's not this one. This is the IP54. Maybe there's something more in here. IP44, it's not that one. 30 inch might be excessive. IP54. What are you? I can't see what you are. IP54. 54, 54, 54, 54. I guess I just do a search for IP Zelt. <laughs> IP. Wait, what was the one? It was. Oops. According to this chart, it is IP 65. So we're looking for. IP 65. Why does it why is it IP44? <laughs> uh, two pieces. Twelve volt, two twenty, thirty inch. TV table sofa. But it's got a remote control. Maybe they don't sell the IP65 anymore? I suppose that's possible. Oh, this one says outdoor use. This one. Oh, and it's 20 inches, not 18. Ooh. Now wonder, can I get away with just two of these, or do I need four? I think I'm going to try and get away with two of these. I mean, that's 1,200 pounds. If I put them in the corners, maybe? Like, the only, that's what I'm worried about, is that it's going to push and... It'll tilt and then bind up. And then it's going to be about overcoming that friction, which changes the weight and so on and so forth. But this is the actual one that we need, so... I'm just going to paste this in there for now, but I need to I need to make sure that I'm following my my standards here. Um, boom, boom, boom. If I paste, I'm going to lose all this. I need to paste special. Well, if I do it here, that'll work, right? Because I just need to take this and move you over here. And you 
and move you over here and you and move you over here why did you move all weird oh because i did fill instead take you and move you over here get rid of you all right and we we'll now oh i can take this throw it to the up direction Fill it to the up direction. Fill it to the up direction. Not that. Come on. Fill. I said. E1, H1. Cool. And fill up. Alright. And we can get rid of all of this. These are X's. And now we can get rid of this. Kind of. Because that should be in there. Actually, boop. no. Delete rows, and then same deal here. Delete rows, okay. Now we're in the right area. This is the metal. This is a particular company that makes the, the no, re, no weld racks. And part of me is thinking that if I just did that, I could weld to the side of that. I basically just need to bend it flat again. And this is this is the one thing, so this is where I'm I'm inclined to believe my friend when he says it's uh, over-engineered. I mean, these are not super thick. They're probably about the same thickness as as these guys. There's a little bit of a spring action going on, which probably helps them. But I think either way, this is one of the this is one of the reasons I stopped using Vivaldi. You go over here and it shows you a preview. Cool. But sometimes that preview gets stuck, and then it's just like, oh well, that sucks for you. <laughs> So if I'm using these, I'm not going this route. Oh, let's see, it's stuck again. Like, no, go away. Um, what is this guy? Copy. Oh, I should. Add it to my notes, but 
I will. I will get there. BHP3. Is that in here? Nope. So then I'm going to guess this is the pins. Yeah. Okay. Round loop locking pin. And it's listed at 995. And according to this, I'm going to have to include that in there. So I'm going to need four of these no matter what for safety. Um, so. <laughs> Nine times four is still 36, right? But it's basically 40 because it's 95 cents. I don't have a weight for them yet. I guess I could just look. Oh wait, no, but there's three in there. So I just need two of those. Go back. Reread, comprehend. Uh, it doesn't look like I have a shipping weight. Uh, I'll lay in, what do you think? Two pounds? Let's, let's get crazy and call it five pounds. This is just this, but that's bay metals versus online metals. And we don't know for certain. 190 was the estimate there. Um, but that was before I was looking at the pillars and the crossbars. Um, I would have to go to online metals again. So I've got two inch, I've got the 1.75, I've got the 1.5. I was thinking the 1.75, the reason that I've got this as the 24 inches are going to be the cross members, which means I probably don't need four of them but we'll still take the estimate here of around 400 doom, doom, doom. where we go there we are a Vulpix let's catch a Vulpix with an Ultra Ball And loyalty point. 99. I'm almost 100. Well, I will almost be level 2 loyal. To me. I know. Neat, right? Um, this is... DIY rack. Option. And I'm just going to rename this to option and these are these cool round loop pin locks go away mm -hmm. I'm going to start adding all of this in. I can take it out of the tent budget, but we'll burn that bridge if we come to it. All right. I'm going to start with two of these. I 
should just put a quantity in here rather than saying this is the amount, huh? And I probably should have been doing that since the beginning. Because <laughs> when I'm actually ordering, that's not going to help me much. Uh, water break. here we're going to insert one column to the left it doesn't break anything this is going to be the number um, so like the tracked towers I say they're 159 and right now I have them marked that I'm going to get them but it's 159 for what six towers I would probably want the backing plates but I would be looking at the towers 20 gets me $20 off the regular price. Is that each? But I still don't think I'm going this route. Um, oh, you know what I need to do? It says it's 159, but 159 is, is, for just six towers, but it's 1x, so I need to make sure that it's, a 1. Uh, that's going to be a 1, Bob. That'll also be a one. Truck bed rack, that would be a one. The DIY rack is, there's only gonna be one of those. This is only one, one, one. Stabilizers are actually, I think four. And this one would be two. So like if I go with these guys, that's 209 for two. Whereas if I go with these guys, that's for four. But these are too small. That much I already know. I have to find a bigger version of that if I'm going to go with that. But this is actually a 1x. Yeah, my minimum is 20 here. So this will be 2 because it is 2x. So for now, I think I'm going to go that route. Uh, but we need to add and it's G1 times F toot, toot, come on don't get handsy with me I probably need to. Okay. Yeah. There we go. That's at least getting more accurate. And then I need to go down the line and do the same thing again. This needs to be updated for weight, which I might as well do real quick. Just need one more Pokemon. 
believe we can do it. I believe. All right, so I've got name, type, link, cost. We need to insert one to the left. This would be total. In this case, it is one, one, and one. And this, oh, and then we also need to, I don't need to insert anything because now we just need to do weight. for that but I don't have it right now uh, maintenance I can't really do too much there but this needs this one might just need to be its own like it's not a regular invoice or not a regular I'm not worried about the weight of the shocks and replacing them. They're going to be exactly the same, right? I'm not worried about... I am, the only thing I'm really worried about is the cost. So, in this case, I'll have material. We'll, uh, we'll just insert two to the left. Actually, am I able to? Oh no, that was just the weight. So I'm basically just including this. Thirty-two ninety-seven. Remember. But there are two of them. This where, like, maintenance. Tires are kind of maintenance. I should probably just include them over there. Or just call this maintenance and parts. No, I'm going to leave this alone just because I've got this additional information. In there. But it is going to get moved over. Um, all right, tent. We're pretty good. Hitch is now basically set. Power is, uh, I don't, I still need to put in the amounts of each of these things. Which is, insert one left. I guess I could say that there's zero if I don't have it, right? Or if I if I already have it, I'm not buying more with of this, right? So nope, 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 nope. I just doubled that up. It's not the one I'm using, so I can kind of get rid of that. Delete row. Uh, dang it. <laughs> I can't delete the row. Uh, this is why you don't do it this way. You put all of the totals on a different page. Um, we can just do this then. I'm going to have to include the one that I'm using. 
which um, have I been putting in my regular show notes? I don't remember. Let's see. So let's just look at this guy. We'll pause you. Yeah. I still have Rhymnology in there, like a dummy. Well, this doesn't have my gear in it. mic set oh there we go it's this one so I guess we can just click from it huh since this is one of the ones that's acceptable Ooh, I got a deal <laughs> it's not bad right like I mean it's it lights all this up unfortunately for you but plus stream cam but no, it's, it seems to work pretty well. I should have probably gotten two of them. Because um, sometimes I'm in a situation where I have to put it over here. And then I get shadows on this side. So then it'd be better. It'd be nice to have one on both sides. Because then you have no shadows. At least that's how I think it works. A number of times in my old job when I had to be in front of the camera. And it... Like, this one light is kind of blinding. It's kind of annoying. It is nothing compared to someone who's trying to do it professionally and, or at least make it look professional. Thank you, Alistair. <laughs> but, wow, the, the lights, you're just like, I can't... See. You, you walk out of that room with just... Your whole vision is spotty white madness. All right, um, I do need to make just like a post, I think on the connected me that just says, here's the gear that I'm currently using it. And it, here's a link to what I think about it, right? But that's not what I'm doing right now. What I'm doing right now is I'm adding the number of them. But either way, I'm, I'm buying zero of them, so the price doesn't matter. I do have Starlink now, and it's... It's, uh... It's an educational experience. Oop, squirrel, on that note. Is this the one? Is this the one that gets us... To a hundred. Let's see. We did it. We did it, boys. I am level two. It says next goal is to level up. Cool. What does that get me? Uh, don't tell me what I want. Tell me what I need. Oh wait. Um. Well, I'm not. I'm not dealing with the wattage calculation. Just the cost calculation. Which is why that one was in there twice, so that I could keep track of the watts. And I've already bought it. So that stays zero. This would be one RV lights, plural. Okay, there's two of them. And I guess I should get a link for this. 
put it in the notes for things discussed today. Probably need a uh, build and gear area. Because there's that, but I also did talk about my lights. And I know it's kind of. Trust me, it feels crappy to me to think about, like, I'm, uh, I've got to remember to talk about, I've got to remember the things that I talked about, and I've got to make sure that I put them in there, because, you know, I might be able to make a penny off of it. But at the end of the day, I might be able to make a penny off of it, and if I can... And that extends this a little bit longer. Cool, right? I used to look at this sort of stuff and just be like, geez, everything? Everything? Yes, everything. <laughs> Where? Oh, yeah, this one. Kiabi. Piasta. I wonder, uh, but I want to do that here. See, I think I need one of these. And that's so weird to say, but I have a, I have a cable and it has one spot and it's a regular cable. And I looked in and I realized if I ever want to unplug this cable again, I've got to remove that little tab. So I've got one that has it broken off on the other side. But what I don't have is this spiffy little flange. And I bet I could take the plug out, cut the hole. But why? Why don't I instead just buy one with the spiffy little flange? Why do they want seven? Wait, so this could, you could just brand generic. Okay, now this is a reseller. I was like, wait, that doesn't seem right. That's like a hundred dollar markup, I think. So that one's not going in the list. Um, Yeah, Starlink mini kit. I mean, I didn't get it from West Marine. I got it from Starlink. It's, you know, it's bigger than my head, but it is cool. Like, uh, one of the things I've been testing since I'm out visiting relatives right now, uh, I'm going out to the desert and basically getting myself some exercise a little bit of uh personal training i guess um and when i do i just plug this thing into my car and drive off and see how long it takes for it to connect and things like that i have and i currently have a soft top so it's making me lean towards keeping the soft top but i don't know that's still up in the air, um, but it's in, it's basically transparent to the satellites. It's not mounted in any way. It's literally just thrown in my back seat. Um, the amount of electricity that it pulls while the car is running, uh, at the moment the car turns off, it it doesn't go. The accessory power can't power it. It needs the engine running. Uh, which is weird to get used to because like I'm driving into some pretty remote areas and having internet there is so crazy but I, I've been like when I get there I'll text Maggie and uh, give her drop coordinates to say hey here's where I'm at I'm gonna be here for a couple hours <laughs> if something goes wrong at least you know where I'm at um, and if I turn the car off 
I then have to turn the car back on and wait, like, mm, I think it's around 20 minutes for it to realign itself, reconnect and everything like that. I can get it. I've seen it. I've been able to get it down to 10, 15 minutes if I pull it out of the car and put it up on the roof and make sure based on where I'm parking, I'm aligning it properly. It's got to be facing north. It's still really cool. It's just, you know, some things I need to change. But hopefully, uh, after all of this, it's going to be running off of the battery power in the car or in the trailer, not the battery power of the car. So it should be able to just keep running. And my, it's got this little kickstand. You can take that off and it's got a, a post mount sort of thing. And I'm thinking that I'm going to do just have a post that drops down the same way you know when everything else is dropped down it's dropped down and in the in the stowed position but still you know in an orientation that it could get internet and then it's going to be connected it, it has its own wireless network but it doesn't give you really much more than here's the name of the wireless network and here's the password of the wireless network that's not good enough for me <laughs> I, I need I need to be able to set static IPs that I don't need, I want, and it makes my life so much easier when I can. Um, and I, I want to be able to make it make a decision whether or not I'm gonna be on VPN. Uh, I wanna make I wanna be able to push some traffic in some ways and some other traffic in other ways and you know, when I'm streaming, maybe slow down other traffic and, and give all of the bandwidth to stream stuff like that and there's no there's no knobs there's no there's nothing like that on the starlink so i need does it show it it doesn't really show it it, it kind of does but yeah the, these plug things there's a plug for power and a plug for the ethernet um so yeah it took i need to be able to plug this guy into the router that I'm going to be, or that I am using. I've decided to switch all of these, all of the stuff that I use over to the, where's, I guess I'll just go to, This guy. Go away. It is a real... I've got to finish writing this, obviously. <laughs> I thought I had. Weird. But, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, it's a DDWRT router. It's it's pretty cool. Um, is this going to get me there? It should be the same link, right? It's not the same link. See, my first time through, I was clicking on these links from other places, and that's that's how I know that that can get you canceled on here. <laughs> but this thing's really neat, just in, in all the little functionality that it can do. Realistically, I don't need to have it plugged in. It's just, it's better if it's plugged in, obviously, right? It can connect to the Starlink's wireless and then just do it that way. I don't know that I'd want to risk that, like bunny hopping wireless. Although I'm kind of doing it right now, so hmm, we'll see. That's, I guess that's why, that's a very roundabout way of saying why I haven't bought that cable, bought, bought that cable yet. Uh, I should say I don't have any information on what these are I think the first one was the lights right what were the two things that I was oh the, the lights and the pin And this, I mean, it's important to remember this is not the final list yet either. So 
if you're trying to follow along, this is not a list of things to buy. This is a list of potential things to buy. There we go. I've got to be able to copy and paste this into my note, into the show notes too. Uh, where was I? Logitech can go away. But no, I, I, so far, the of the five times I've used this, I highly recommend it. It's just, it's too cool not to use. I had never heard of a travel router. I, it just, it had never crossed my mind. It is an awesome idea. I, uh, I have a couple of streams where I was using this to connect to hotel Wi-Fi and just putting everything behind it because like my camera talks to my uh, OBS instance over Wi-Fi. My tablet here that controls OBS talks to OBS over Wi-Fi. Like all of this stuff is over Wi-Fi. And when you're dealing with guest Wi-Fi, they're generally designed so that you can't talk to each other. So you run into problems. Never mind the the privacy aspect of it. Like that's just in and of itself pretty cool. Anyway, long story short, too late. We want one of those. <laughs> <laughs> this would be one now this one well luck waterproof generator all right let's just look for that See, it's no good. Well, waterproof generator receptacle. Do I need to go this route? I think this may have been one of the optional things I was looking at when I was trying to... When I was trying to figure out shore power, or what I'm going to do with shore power, or how I'm going to deal with shore power. What? That says it's a 15 amp flanged inlet. Well, let's just look for that then. I don't need it to be well luck, right? Squirrel. Do I still care? Do I still do ultra balls? No, I don't think I do anymore. I'm past 100. I don't need it. Don't need your help. Let's go back to this guy. Let's get a link. connectors I really hope that this link is not broken because I did a lot of thinking on these ones that probably now has to change actually hey I cut the alamomola whatever that is I 
I went with three pin. I think tomorrow's stream is going to be actually kind of l trying to lay out the electrical. Like, I'm going to take a top-down picture of an M100 trailer and lay out, like, okay, where am I putting the wiring? I may need to do the same thing with the Bronco, because I know that I need to run power from the alternator back to a point where I can connect it with one of these. Because I need to remember, I don't know if I've validated like the number of wires I need to run. I, I think I have my wire type even selected, even though. Happy. This is... And I haven't really thought out the trailer connectors either. Like part of me thinks I want to take, go away. I want to take one of these and put it on the trailer and one of these and put it on the Bronco and then make a cable that's basically this on both ends. Right. call out the number of pin go away I don't call out the number of pins but it says 1529 no internet uh oh says OBS lost connection okay reconnected uh, I hope my stream didn't just get split in half doesn't look like it that's the worst man uh, two hour and a half streams and you're just like thankfully I record it now because of the number of times that's happened. Uh, so no matter what, there's going to be a single three hour stream for me to upload, but woof. Nice. Right, but anyway, 1529 is what I was looking at. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. This guy, 1529. Okay. So that's, that is the three pin. Oh, I already did that. And then, yeah, eight. And I know that I need the uh, eight gauge due to the distance. The one thing I'm concerned with is whether or not I put, do I put the piece that charges the trailer in the Bronco? and then run the wire? Or do I run the wire and have the piece that charges the trailer in the trailer? On one hand, it's probably better to be able to charge from the car and you can charge potentially other things. But on the other hand, it's what are the chances that I'm building another trailer? What are the chances I'm doing something else that needs this charging? Not great. They're, they're, it's not super high. Um, so I guess it's, it's just gonna come down to whatever's easier, right? At the end of the day. And uh, until I start digging around in there, I'm not gonna know. What is the distance? This is a 25 foot. Do 
Jesus, ninety dollars. I've got the right price in there. We'll leave one for now. This is two. So the rent, this is Renogy one, but it's a package. There would be one of each of these if needed. All right, so let's go here. Close I one times H one. And yeah, most of that shouldn't change except for that one. Cool. Who buzzing in my ear? Why are there so many earthquakes lately? South, southwest of Hendrick. Wow, there was an earthquake here. That's fun. Anyway, it's only kind of the end of the world. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, all right, so now. Oh. Well, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to do it yet, but I apparently I, I, I should be multiplying the weight by the number as well, huh? It's, it's amps, okay. I put it just to the left of cost, same. All right. All right, insert left. Quantity one, 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 maybe one. Go away. Oops, that's the weight. Need to be here. At least this one's easier. One and one and one and one. times you. Why not? Drag it all the way down. Alright. Extras. This is just additional information or additional stuff. Which should be all the way at the end. And this is going to allow me to break this out a little bit because now I have number instead of just saying $400 uh, insert left so this is DIY option online medals oops that's not what I wanted insert above and in here I know that I have three of these go away well, not quite go away. I need to go here. Oh, 
go over here. Directly to it, right? Because that'll be much gooder. This can actually go to zero because I'll be tracking it here instead. So much gooder. All right, so the quantity of that is four. It's price. In my cart. 20 dollars and 31 cents. I'm gonna have to include shipping and taxes an item. <laughs> ah, so fun, such great. I completely sidetracked myself. What was my twenty six eighty thing. Fit. Alright. So if I do an X thing. Alright. And did that also have yeah total weight. Nice. Oh no that's the total cart weight. So I would have to remove each one of these to get the individual weights. Sage let's give it a great ball great ball did we catch it 102 looks like we might have and let's see Okay, still connected. OBS Blade seems to have finally done its crashing thing, so let's fix that. Go away. Just restarting it shall I take forever. I wish I could share this screenshot easily, in an easy manner, but it shows two things exactly the same, one reachable, one not reachable. Who cares? All right. Uh, let's go back down to audio real quick. Cool. Okay. So our total weight is 82 pounds. I think when I start putting all of this in, I 
should put in the size, huh? Because it's got, it's got this in the title, but I don't have the size in, in the case of my bomb. It won't actually be anything else, but at least I'll have the length and in case that goes away, because right now it's, it's every time I close it, I hope and a prayer that it comes back. All right, next up, also 24 inches. Oh, Caroline is playing the Flyers today. How did I forget that? And in this one, we're looking also at 24 inches. And I have four. I think it should be two. And 20, 26. And then we have this one. Part. Oops. Copied. And I think these are the long ones. So 48 inches, and we're getting four of them, and they are 27, 32 each. So if I update this to two, my total weight 71, 36. Actually, I can just do that, huh? Let's put you back to four and update. 82 pounds. So if I bring you down to three, that's gonna tell me that each one of these is 75.86 pounds oops so 6.14 And this number should only be that. Okay, but it doesn't have my magic formula yet, which is times this number. Oh, whoops. Wait, but why are you zero? just defaults to zero. Round loop wire lock pinned. Oh, right, right, right. Um, it's a set of three, so I need two of those. But is this one currently also under tent? There's three in there. All right. Mm 
no. Human. Okay. Um, we're going to do the same thing with these guys. I haven't been back to their website since. <laughs> and I've actually got a call. Uh, a third company that I'm looking at. But why is this number still zero? Oh, because there's no X. All right, so we'll put you back to four. Update. Put you down to three. Update. Seventy six point six eight five point three two. And the funny thing is, like, it's probably not going to end up being the full weight. I'm probably going to be chopping these up, but better sorry than safe. Uh, five point three two. Oh, yeah, because there's only two of those. Wait. Oh, no, 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 because no, I have it at four right now. So, never mind. Ignore me. No, don't. <laughs> Wait a minute. All right, put you back to four. Update. And finally, three. Up a date. Seventy two point nine six. These are the chonkers. Ten pounds each. Nine point oh four. Cool. Um, I guess I can get rid of this now, and I can actually get rid of that as well. The linear actuators, we're looking at two of those. That's almost definitely a yes. Um... All right, so these are almost definitely over. Rack towers to six, yeah. So I can just get rid of this row. Problem solved. Because I still have them here. And it would just be one of them because there's six. I don't have a weight for them, but I'm not, I'm probably not using them anyway, so no problem. Let's go back to Bay Metals and check them out. Yeah, see, like this is uh, so useful, such use. Now I remember why I'm not using aluminum. I asked myself early in the stream, why am I not using aluminum? Because I don't have a TIG welder, I have a MIG welder. Uh, all right, fine. Maybe. I, I probably just need... Why do they have a picture? Of a, of a guy TIG welding. Yeah, I don't think I have... I don't think I have the uh, the current setting. 
nor do I want to buy and research new wire. So steel it is. All right, we're looking at tubes. Square. At least they give you the weight per foot. But where did I get my dollar amount? Tubing. Go away. So... Was I just randomly guessing? I'm not blind, right? There's nowhere like... You're not seeing a price that I'm not seeing, right? I must have been looking at some other website and then just extrapolating it and saying, well, this will be my estimate. I do think, though, since I've got this stuff, I can at least, uh, oops. I've got the ability now to call people and say, hey, this is what I'm looking at getting and get quotes. These aren't a big deal. This kind of falls in the realm of I need to borrow a car, rent a car, or get it delivered. So I think what I need to do here, because I don't know this number, it's zero, but it's going to be kind of the same idea. So I'm just going to copy and pasta this here. I'm going to get rid of these X's because it's not selected. A squirrel. Pokey catch. How's my loyalty points going? Didn't catch that one. But that's okay. Uh, we can get rid of the part numbers because none of that's going to be true. We can get rid of the links. The weights should basically be the same. Yeah, um, and then there was another company that I was going to contact. So basically I'm gonna have two local companies Max Metals Inc. Basically, just be calling them and saying, hey, what would this cost? And I'll get all that filled, filled in. I'm not going to call somebody on stream. I'm not Kit Boga. <laughs> he does some great work. I'm not lying. I'm not throwing shade. And they call him, so it's kind of on them.
All right, so yeah. I guess I can start prepping what I'm looking at as far as laying out power. Actually, I think I can even do that in here. Let's go back to Tinkercad real quick. Let's create circuit. New micro bit component. Arduino. All right, is there a custom option because <laughs> this could be an issue let's just go to all this just might be This might be a mix between too simple and too complex. Like I'm not gonna be putting electronics in there. I'll be adding pre-built electronic devices, however. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna be the, the answer. Actually, here, let's just do this. Notes. Wire color. No. No, this is not going to be useful. Let's get rid of you. You're doing me no good. basically what I'm looking for now what are the chances that this is gonna be like oh yeah you've done you've put four things on here it's too late let's buy so I'm guessing the yellow ones are free chassis ground battery multi-cell okay so there will be two of those solar cell we have a constant voltage source that will be what's charging the batteries or is it a constant current
this might come in handy, but I don't think it's what I, I think it's still a little on the technical side. Like I am definitely going to want this. I'm going to want to put the fuses in. I'm going to want to make sure I know exactly how all of this is laid out and probably have it etched in something so that I can bolt it on. Like it's just, you know, make it match the uh, the placards. That, that'll be cool. But I don't think I'm here yet. I mean, I'm mostly, I'm close. But right now I'm looking at like, okay, where, where are my running wires physically? Um, Chrome donkey, maybe I'll watch what he did. I just want to, well, why, why am I looking? I should be looking here. Well, what is that? Oh, that's just how to attach the things. And that's the default setup for the lights. I'm on mine, that's the cabling doing that has all been cut because, like I said, it's it's got traditional lights. It doesn't have the the nighttime lights or anything fun like that. I'm just looking for a decent top-down view, though. I don't know if that's decent. <laughs> I, I guess, you know what I could do? Um, I can just copy this one. Cause like, it's all here, mostly. I just get rid of all this stuff. This is my one problem with this, with doing it this way. Drawing the cables on this is not going to be direct. I right, put a, an actual tire on it. <laughs> Nope. Um, oh, there's all kinds of stuff here. Tires. Spears. I mean, these are all just pre-prepared shapes, though. Um, I guess I could just kind of do this. That could work, right? And then I just dump this into uh, Tinkercad and then or not Tinkercad, uh, GIMP. And then if I really need to, I can just go boom and do it again. Top. So, take a screenshot. From here to here to here. Done. Although, 
drawing in GIMP is not exactly... the easiest thing in the world either. It should be. It'll do. Alright. We're going to add a layer. We're going to call you wires. So we're going to need wires coming from the battery. I guess I need to go back to Renity's 4x4 solutions page that I've visited a million times. Yeah, but I need to look up the specific battery. 200 amp, 12 volt. Like why is that why why is it not a link? Batteries, lithium, otherwise known as explosives, 200 amp, and we need to go to that manual, positive, negative in the center, see if this works. I has a curious. Kimmon. Maybe. Still here. All right. My camera is a little is a lot closer <laughs> than you guys are used to. <laughs> uh, actually, I wonder. Can I fix that? Hey, that's way better. I'm going to have to come back to that. We'll see. Crossflow gloves. All right. So let's hop back here. The battery box is basically going to take up the entire thing. I should have left the battery box in there. Shelmet. Did not catch the shelmet. Alright, so we're going to have basically this. in parallel. Apparently they do not seem to recommend series. <laughs> I wonder why that might be. Alright, so 
for us, for our purposes. Um, first thing. Where'd you go, Phil? Phil. And that's basically going to be our bus bars, right? And I think what we'll have is the input be hereabouts. All right. So the input will be coming in like here. And that should be three wires. Red on red. Perfect. Yeah, let's do that. That'll be the yellow wire which is going to be red. <laughs> and then we'll have the black wire. Loop. And I suppose we'll have a white wire. It's going to be three wires coming in. I'm not sure why I needed three. It's probably got to do with the alternator charge controller. Because that's what we're drawing in right now. So I shouldn't have started with the batteries. I know. Products. Wow, I haven't seen this page yet. think it's this one but let's go back to our favorite page shall we but we don't want the Explorer kit why did it change pictures on me Missing something? Is there okay? So this is the one that does have the combiner box. That's this guy. It's a fifty amp DC DC. seem to have okay fifty amp oh okay this guy learn more It says 50 amp. It just says 50 amp DCC. The fuse cable is currently out of stock. You may opt to wait for the accessory or continue with her purchase at a reduced price. Is that why this is lower? Please tell me that's why it's lower. <laughs> oh, Lordy, they're a little over $250 for a fuse cable. That can't be right, right? 
Oh, there we go. I don't know why. Okay, so if this says none, then that means this kit, even though it shows it, even though it's included, you can't pick it. So I'm going to have to, if I want this, I'm probably going to have to buy it off of Amazon separate. Okay. Good to know. Wait, are these all the same picture? Pioneer, Adventure, Pioneer, Conqueror. Oh, there we go. That looks like it could be the same thing, right? Yes, super value on you. What's... No. And now the super value bundle's gone. Black Friday price match. What? <laughs> hmm. That's interesting. I hadn't thought of that. Uh, it's possible that we'll have our funds for this by Black Friday. And if that's the case, that'll be when I'm looking at this stuff. At least this expensive stuff, right? And I don't, like, I haven't, I haven't laid out where all of this stuff is gonna go. The battery box is huge. And I do have some spare, not spare, but I have, I have space. But I think, I don't think that this is their, uh, let me hop back over here, because that's, it's not the thing I was talking about anyway, or the thing that I need to be talking about, which is, well, maybe it is. Okay, so that's, no, that's the exact same one that I'm already looking at. So if I go to this guy and I go to download, so let's look at the manual on this guy. What's our wiring look like? Battery setting, Bluetooth, solar charge, alternating, ch alternator charge. Okay, so to wire this in so it does both. That's the negative. So I'm going to need a negative bus bar. Not included. <laughs> All right. So the red wire is... And then the yellow wire goes to panel. Positive starter goes to positive. Wait. So the auxiliary battery goes to the same place. Positive auxiliary battery cable of the battery charger.
Oh, okay, so then I'm looking at this wrong. So this goes to yellow from yellow to red. This goes from red to red. This goes brown to red. Okay. So then the first thing that we need to put in there is the charger. Ensure that the output current ranges from 75 to 100 amps. The starter battery stops charging the auxiliary battery when the starter battery voltage drops below 12. about this too. I bet this is where Renology 1 comes into play. Seven pin. I mean, it would be, that could be fun in and of itself. Um, <laughs> uh, ensure 120 ohm terminating resistors are installed at both ends. Wait, what is, what's RVC? also known as RVC. It's a common area network also known as RVC. Okay. What's that? I just got a notification about hockey. Or did I? Canes and flyers are tied 1-1. One, one. That's fun. 1-1, one, one, that's fun. I might be looking a little bit more into the uh, the can network. A bee drill. I gotta catch the bee drill. That one's getting an ultra ball. Squirrel. Now the one thing I wonder about, how is switching handled on the can? Well, let's let's do a quick. What do I need? How do I create? Designing an RV with RVC. If you're an RV manufacturer, hey, that's me. Wondering how to get started with RVC. Multiplexing is a fancy word for simple idea. Blah, blah, blah. Basics of Installate. There are two steps to designing an RVC compliant RV. First, the coach must be properly wired. Yeah. Second, the components must be checked and if necessary, properly configured for proper interoperation. RVC wiring is an example of a bus topology. Terminated at each end by resistors. Oh, 
it's a, it's it's just uh give it a long line to talk Twenty gauge cable that will support a network length of over two hundred and fifty meters. There's no wait. Regardless of the cable chosen, the drops are limited to no more than six feet. Putting two components on the same drop is prohibited. Very, very many has to make certain steps to ensure that all components properly work together. least one multi-purpose control panel this panel and there may be more than one will provide the RV owner with a central place to monitor and control yeah like a tank level monitor would be awesome To build the Irvin. Well, I mean this this shows basically a Raspberry Pi as a central communicator, but pages of primer holy guacamole that's a lot to read okay so it is like that it's just a long line with a, a resistor between it Interesting. Well, I just found an entirely new rabbit hole. Fun. What is Omniscope? What isn't? Oh, let's go see. I'm like, I'll bet this is. Put your, put your guesses in chat. I'm gonna say twelve hundred. Now twenty six hundred. That's not it. Omniscope Classic or Evo? No, I don't think that's it either. Let's do RV DC. Omniscope, the main program. Here we go. Wait, what? It's free? There's no way. I mean, it's exe which is unfortunate but really because I hadn't even thought about some of these things a tank level in the in the water tank would be awesome to make it so that everything is aware of whether or not the trailer is up or down. Also very cool.
Wow. I'm going to have to do some reading, I think, boys and girls. <laughs> and other. So I think... Hmm. I think I'm going to need to save this. And... I think this is where I'm going to cut it off for the day. For... Uh, those of you that made it this far on YouTube or lurking and, and not chatting here on Twitch. Hey, thanks for making me a part of your day. Really cool of you. If anybody has any uh, <laughs> advice on what I'm about to embark on, please, please put it in comments, put it, put it anywhere. Um, yeah let me know and uh thanks for hanging out it's been it's been a day hasn't it i've got some modifying to do here on my end my tools they don't be working but really thanks I will see you guys, gals, peeps, tomorrow.